day one of testing. Sun is out pretty hot today. Um, right now we're on the cold start, so I'm uh, gonna make a few turns and see how the um, temperature operates. Uh, so let's go and see what's how things pump in. Yeah. A few moments later. All right. So apparently, we now shut down. While testing, first time I go into press the car. First time, no press. We skate to even get a chance to make a note and cut off. The strange thing though is, um, I noticed like just before I cut off, the wide band reset and was doing a sort of madness and uh, as well right now I'm not getting no ignition but the battery is fine because we have lights but nothing on the dashboard the only thing I get on the dashboard is a yes, see door light yeah. so obviously I think turn the keys nothing no ignition so suspecting something with the ignition system so I uh, made a few calls just now Dr. Navin. Um, so let's see if we could figure out which one is the ignition switch. As you can see, I'm on the side of the road. Good thing it's a Sunday, road is kind of clear. Alright. So, first of all, I'll just reset the battery. Pull is a bit slack. I thought that was the problem, but never heard of a battery um, shutting down a car before. So, unless your alternator is bad. Right? Yeah. All right. Let's make sure this don't go anywhere to touch anybody. All right. Let's see what's going on inside this fuse box. All right. So on the box, let's see what we can see on the box. All right. Um, we have lights on on the left hand side here. It's on. Yes. Seen something with a battery a 15. Uh, no, uh, let's try this one. I've seen our keys, so obviously that looks like ignition. Uh, there he is. Uh, well, that's the culprit. That's the culprit. 30 amp fuse. As you can see, the fuse is blown. Don't know if you can see it, yeah. So, um, parts, please. Luckily, let's just close down the bonnet and see if the most likely the parts place there have it because I live close to this area and thank God is right close to the plus place there. Um, so let's see if the parts place have it. I don't know if you all can see the sign. Yeah, see the Remila or whatever yellow sign up there, that's the parts place. Small work. Um, we we'll just leave the car there. Glass can't go up. Don't think anybody gonna. Well, I wouldn't get anywhere to go, so. Yeah, let's go check for the fuse and change it out and get going. Alright, so just got back a brand new fuse. Um, same 30 amp, same thing, everything looking fresh. So let's change it out and get going. Yeah. I think I'll have to buy some extra fuses. I don't know why, probably the age of the car and whatnot. I'll have to just change out all the fuses are there and see how that works. Yeah. Uh -huh. Alright. Okay, just as we left it. Yeah, I'm going back inside.
Yeah, fuse blow. <laughs> yeah. So, peeps, stop in to check on me, as you see. <clears throat> right, so. Alright. Alright, cool. Yeah. Nice commented. Check on me. Give assistance. Cool. Right, so let's let's see if that was the problem. Uh, battery back up. This have to sort out very soon because of I don't know what's going on with that. So yeah. That had to sort out. One of the other issues. Uh, right, like hope for the best. Because we scar, right? Uh -huh. Still nothing. So that is a problem. So I'm gonna head back to the troubleshooting and see what we can figure out. Yeah. So I will keep you all posted on if we get through and what was the issue. In the meantime, I am going to get a partner to probably pick us up and wreck the car. But I'll check through the fuses again and see what else I can figure out. Yeah? Alright. Okay, so there's definitely an issue with the car. As you can see, the fuse, the brand new fuse I just put in, blow. Right? The arm is gone. So, I don't know, some, something going on somewhere. So, we'll have to check through that and see what's happening. Yeah, right, so, yeah, well, we just wait in the meantime, and that's race car for you, yep. So we're going to take a pull home, only problem is, sky is looking kind of sketchy and glass not going up, so, <laughs> try and figure that out when I reach home. Alright, so... Yeah, one of the monsters to pull, man. As it's right here, eh? yeah, it's funny, no, so that money to, um, you know, wreck and all that nonsense. Right, so, let's head home and get dig up there. Right now, we're in about five pounds of boost. Heading up the road. Seeing that. Alright, so. Reach back home successfully. Um, do I have any footage? Because we was hurrying to get up the glass and well, I was expecting rain, but over there was looking sketchy. The breeze was blowing pretty cool, but yeah, so we was fighting up. We had to actually um, Cut wire the windows, the driver side window, and so we have to scrap out a pool tree, get two wires, connect it up. Thanks to Chong for the advice on that. Um, yeah, so um, no luck today. So something definitely short on the car. So we'll have to troubleshoot that this week. Um, Didn't really boost the car since. So. Temperatures was looking okay so far. Um, the manifold itself, um, when I went into the engine bay as soon as we shut down, the engine bay was pretty cool, to be honest. Um, it it make a big difference, because normally if I have to go into the engine bay after, the car immediately cut off after such a long drive, SB real pain. <laughs> so manifold, the wrap and the ceramic coat working pretty good. So yeah, we'll um, keep you all posted on how the progress goes with the project. Yep. Well, it's the same day and as you can see the car is running. Um, apparently the ground for the ignition system which is, well, coils basically. So um, these wires here ground actually ran slack to another cylinder. Yeah, so the 
ground ran slack and apparently that was causing the issue. So we'll run the car, see how it goes. Took out the um the arm fuse from the power windows so do have that right now um, might run it direct just the route to see how it goes until I get one tomorrow tomorrow is Monday and yeah we'll go from there so we'll keep posted on the progress of the car so last time the problem occurred when we went extra board so we're gonna load and See if we get yes, you know. No problems. Car's boosting fine. Gotta check the light flash. That is just the false knock. Hopefully false. Otherwise the gas is mess. when we'll be testing the car. I really don't trust the normal gas we have. I'm going through that. Let's test it. Next aboard. 